eggs, 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 eggs. Hello, peoples of the tube, and welcome back to Bad Gemington on Eggs, the only show on the internet that you are currently watching. I hope, because uh, otherwise you're not paying enough attention to the wonders of eggs. But today on the egg, and it's been a while. It's been like about a year since the last episode of Bad Gemington on Eggs, and I thought to myself, we need to up our game. We need to do the crossover episode you've been waiting for. Never. You've never been waiting for this. This is Bad Gemmington on Eggs meets Cooking Without William. Because you, know, you might remember the show Cooking with William. We did that, I think the last episode was two years ago. Um, we got rid of William. Nobody liked William, so that person is gone. But you, you've still got me. Here I am. I'm cooking eggs. But I'm cooking other things as well. This is ex this is exciting. What am I making? I have no idea. I, I'm making this up as I go along. I mean, I, to a degree, I have ingredients behind me. What what have I got here? I've got um, two tablespoons of flour. Which, um, assuming that my understanding of what a tablespoon is is correct, I have a recipe for sauce. Right. Well, well, basically, there's going to be pasta. There's going to be a sort of cheesy sauce, and there's going to be eggs. Obviously, there's going to be eggs because it's it's eggs. I'm reviewing. I'm going to review the eggs after I've eaten them, or while I'm eating them. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, eating eggs, pasta with a cheese and some eggs. That's what we're making. So we've got far too much pasta. I'm going to eat maybe all of this. I don't know. Uh, some of it's macaroni. Most of it's macaroni. Some of it's not. I have got some butter. It's less than 50 grams, but I've got a recipe for cheese sauce, and I, I'm guessing it's for more than one person. Even though I've got, like, a million people's worth of pasta there. Oh, I should have dried my jug. Uh, even though I've got a lot of pasta, I feel like I shouldn't make too much sauce. I have lost the dish towel. Back in a second. Here it is. So yeah, the recipe is like 500 mils of milk, and that sounds like way too much sauce. I don't, I don't want that much sauce. So I'm going to make like 250 mils, and and so I'm scaling everything down. So that's two spoonsful of flour instead of four. Maybe a bit more than 25 grams of butter. It said 50. It's it's, I don't know, it's in that ballpark. Too much cheese. I I I found a massive load of uh, blue cheese. So. If you don't like blue cheese, you're not going to enjoy this at all. I quite like it. Um, it's very strong smelling. I've also got a bit of cheddar. I'm going to sprinkle it. But here's my idea, right? While I'm doing the eggs, I've got the oven on at the moment. Once I've done... I've, I've, I've got a massive bowl to put this all in because it's going to be too big for a normal size bowl, I think. Once I have uh, finished making the pasta and the sauce, I'll put the pasta on the sauce, I'll sprinkle the sprinkly cheese, the grated cheese on the top, and I'll, I'll put the oven off and I'll stick it in just to melt the cheese onto it. It's going to be delicious, maybe, I don't know. Um, so yeah, we've also got some pans. I've got two eggs. I'm going to try poaching them. I've never poached an egg before, but how hard can it be? Uh, so that's nice. I have, is that it? I think that's about it, recipe ingredient-wise. Uh, yeah. I might put a sprinkle of salt in the water when I do the pasta. Let's put the pasta on, shall we? This is, I think it's about 300 grams. Um, that's probably too much, but I'm, I don't know. I can, I can, if, if I don't finish it at lunchtime, I can eat it with the rest of it later. This, 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 this is probably like too, oh, this be too bad, actually. That's not too bad. Okay, um, other things like uh, salt, uh, the, you know, you just assume salt. I don't, I don't, I don't really like salt, so I'm not going to put that much in. That's enough, probably. Uh, you know, it's always useful to put a bit of salt into everything. Also, you might think I'm looking really bedraggled. I know this side of my hair is, I don't know what it's doing. If this side was also doing that, that would be fine. I can't get them both to do the same thing. I've been having a bad week. I'm not, I'm not at my best right now. Uh, so excuse that, but don't worry. Um, good news is, my kettle does match my toaster. So, but, I'm... Oh, I think I'm averaging out on top right now. Uh, also, interestingly enough, 
or not interesting, depending on how easily interested in things you are. Uh, this isn't really too much past at all. I thought it was going to be a lot of fill the whole pan. It's not. Well, it's a big pan, but um, that's probably enough water. Locked. I was cleaning it earlier. Um, yeah. This is this is this is how we how we do things here in in videos, right? So I did not pre-pour the milk. Uh, it's, uh, it's weird milk. It's orange. It's not. It's not like the really watery red stuff, but it's like it's there's not much fat in it. So I don't know if this will be much good for this job. So I'm gonna put in 250 milliliters. It's fine. Uh, oh, you can't. See, you can't. I'm, I'm out of frame. Don't worry, I'll show you. I'll show you what I've done. Got that jug from earlier. It's a 250 milliliters of milk. All right, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let's let's look at the instructions. I do have a recipe here. Let's let's just make sure we're. Yeah, milk goes in first, with no heat. Milk first. I think I think I've scaling this down was a good idea. Um. Then put in the flour and the butter. Okay. I should wash. Well, I should have washed the knife. I did wash the knife. I should have kept the knife from the butter because it's just got butter on it. Um. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um. Don't do that. I don't know. You can't quite see what I'm doing. Can I? Let's just tilt it down a little bit so you can, you can follow my mess that I'm making. Just uh, get this knife, it's the kind of wet knife, which is fine. It's clean water it was in. Um, okay, so, making a bit of a mess. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. This is bad bad framing now, because like, I, I try not to frame myself any lower than about here, because it's just not very flat now. Never mind. It's all in the name of the, the dish. And this is my two tablespoons of flour, maybe. That just goes in there, like that. Okay, so this is this is my sauce. Uh, I'll give that clean because that's uh, gonna start hissing. I don't. Okay, that is on. Yes. Um, so I put the heat on to medium, and I whisk the mixture. Okay, I'm not very good at whisking. I've got a very weak wrist, uh, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, Whisk fast as butter melts and this will boil. Flour will disappear and the sauce will be thickened. Well, will it? I don't know. And then I put the cheese in after. Okay, well, let's, let's do that. Uh, medium heat, it said, isn't it? Medium. Okay, so that's five. I can't like, whisk much at the moment because. Uh... Oh, this is cheap, the thinnest milk. I've made a grave error of judgment with milk. Uh... I just wish there was a. Let's see if I can angle the camera so that you can see the the hob, but like I'm slightly higher up in frame. Give, give me a second. I'll see if I can reposition it. And there we go. I think. I mean, that's not much better, but now you can see the salt. So that's nice. Uh, I will get another fork to poke at that. But, um. Now, obviously, you're probably thinking, hey, you're not, you're not watching any of this. You're not, you're not paying attention to your dish and all the pasta sticking to the bottom of the pan. And well noticed, there's not enough water in the pasta. Right? That's a little bit more. Um, and then I might actually boil another kettle's worth because I'm going to need to. Uh... Um, yeah, I'm going to um, need some more water for poaching the eggs in a bit. So I better, better get some more water boiling. I always seem to go through a lot of water when I'm doing this. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, right, the flush is stuck, which now is it? No, not really. Okay, it's 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 still not very warm. I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm ten minutes into the recording. Obviously, some of that is me looking for the towel and me fixing the camera, and I've not really been cooking for very long. It's currently nearly one o'clock, so like. I'm hoping to have this done by like, beating it by half past one. That would be, be my, my big ambition in life. So, uh, yeah. Butter is now melt, melted. 
not really mixing very well. I think this pasta is done. I think the sauce is, is not going well. The sauce isn't going well. Um, that's my update for you right now. The sauce is not going well. Let's take, it, take some time out to try the pasta. No, I don't want to do that. Pasta's done. Leave that in there for the time being, I'll keep it warm. It's, uh, it's not overly soft. But, uh, right, so that's. Yeah. That's the sort of. It needs to come to the boil, doesn't it? How's it going to come to the boil? Okay, I'm going to turn the heat up more. I want to push this conclusion. Because everything's. I just, I never know how, to, how long anything's going to take. I, I always think, well, this, this is going to take to me this long. So if I start at this, at this point, during this other activity, and everything will be done at the same time. It never is. It just never works out that way. I've still got eggs to do. That's, that's not, I've not done that yet. So this is, um, yeah, this kind of, this, I'm not very good at this. Okay, well, 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 that's, um, take the fork out here. It's going to be hot. Um, yeah, let's just make sure there's room on the shelf to put my, my casserole dish on the heat because it's, um, it doesn't really matter. I don't care. I'm already done with this activity. Uh, you might wonder why my cooking videos are so infrequent. Because, like, I cook all the time. I, I do I do all the cooking around here. There are, there are people like pretend that I don't, and that I'm useless. And where well, yeah, I I'd agree with that to an extent. But I do I do do a lot of cooking. I'm quite busy. Um, <laughs> this isn't going well. Like, why is it not? I don't want to. It is. It is quite a good thickness. Like Comes with oil means bubbling. Yeah. It should. It should be bubbling. Oh, there we go. It's bubbling now. Yeah, the sauce. This it is. It is starting to thicken. I think. I think we're going to be okay. I suspect I might have ruined the bottom of this uh, pan. But, uh, this is just about. Just about ready for the cheese now. Uh, well, two minutes. I would have whisked it for two minutes while the sauce bubbles. Okay, that's. I'm about telling the time. So let's set a timer for two minutes. It's going to do this. Um, in the meantime, I know it says whisk, but also I've got to spin this pasta because it's going to be really slimy if I don't stick it in the uh, colander. So just bear with me. Okay, that's not too much faster. Yeah, it's not too much faster. Um, let's leave that to drain. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. This is why I need to keep this thing. Don't forget, the very most important thing in this is not to let it let go wrong. I'm going to turn this down to um, 5 again now that it's comfortable. Yeah, considering I've never made this before, it's, it, this does look like something you could eat. And I think once it's got the cheese in it, it's going to taste quite nice. I quite like blue cheese sauce for pasta, so I have that on holiday sometimes. Um, have you ever been on a holiday? Why not let me know in the comments? Oh, that's, that's still like my, my new go-to thing if I've not got anything worthwhile to say. I just thought was the last thing I said. Why not tell me about that in the comments? I don't know. You don't have to leave me a comment. I'm not going to get that upset. But if you do leave me a comment, I'll be quite happy. I'll be like, hey, that's a comment. I don't think I've shown you yet a giant bowl that I'm going to eat this out of. Um, partly because it's, you can put it in the oven, although actually I'm not planning on ovening it. I just want to stick it in there to melt the cheese. Keep it warm while I'm... Uh, I'll turn the oven off. Um, how long have we got? Some time. Less than a minute. Okay. 
And then after that, um, and then stir in the cheese. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's time. Time to put in cheese. This is, this is some cheese. Too much cheese. I can already see I'm putting it in. That's too much cheese. You know what? It's fine. Everything is fine. This is meant to be cheesy, cheesy sauce. I'm hungry. One o'clock. I should be eating. I should be doing anything other than filming myself making cheese sauce. Right, that smells really nice. Okay, okay, I think things have gone well. No, um, until it's melted, and then I mean that's it done after that. Honestly, I think I've still made too much sauce. But if that is the worst thing that happens to me, that it's too much sauce, I can with that. Okay, I think that's melted. They are. Uh, I think they're supposed to be blue cheese burger melt. You put your burger in and melt. Okay. Um, Tentatively, I'm going to get my ridiculous go home big bowl. See, um, usually you put the prefix uh, that's, that's rude that means go away. You see, but I'm not being rude in these videos. I'm being very polite. So it's not a it's not an f off big bowl. It's just it's just a big bowl. It's a big bowl. Off. It's actually quite nice. Good. Okay. Things have gone well. Things have gone well. We're all right. How much faster did I make? Oh, flip me. That's a lot faster. That is a lot faster. Didn't look like much in the pan. No, no, that's not too bad. Actually, that's not too bad. I can do that. I can eat that. If I don't finish, I'll just eat the rest of the later. Okay, uh, calendar away again. Yeah, that's fucking. This is a lot of good. Um, I will take this out and play my this. And I'll pour it all on here. It's ridiculous. Why have I made so much food? Like, this is this would feed like three people. I'm just gonna eat it all myself. Why would I wouldn't have a wooden here? It's a wooden spot here. Let's use that just to pass the sauce in there. Because I wasn't gonna make sauce at all. Um I was looking through it. I had a general plan. But I kind of let sleepers take over a bit, and the plan shifted from I'm just going to make some dry pasta with a couple of eggs on top, because that's what I've got to make a sauce. And, um, it's strong, but it's not too strong. Maybe it'll be on the thick side, but I can't remember that. Okay, so this is my. Pasta and cheese mixture. I mean, considering I'm going to be eating it, I think I can probably stir it before I leave. That's fine. So this is, I mean, a bit, it's, it's, it's kind of macaroni cheese, I guess. It's a bit cheese heavy. I would, I would not like to know how many calories are in this. I've actually, you know, I don't know if you've been following this, I have been losing weight uh, or attempting to do so. I've, I mean, I've, I've, not attempting, I've lost like a stone and a half. But, at the same time, like sometimes I get hungry and I just want to eat a stupid amount of food. So, phase one, the pasta bit. This is my my like, like, a, a final insult to my waistline. So I sprinkle a load of grated, pre-grated uh, cheddar cheese on the top. It's just arbitrary amount. That is part one of my job. That is this that I've made this. The next thing we're going to do. We boil the kettle again, yes we did. We are going to poach eggs. Now, here's the thing. I've never poached an egg before. I've been given advice, which I've had to go back and reread because I wasn't really paying attention. I've been given advice from sewage on how to poach an egg. And I've also watched a video of Jamie Oliver poaching an egg. Sewage said put in vinegar. Jamie Oliver said don't. But the reason apparently is it makes it firmer, and I'm probably going to mess this up, so probably if my eggs are a little firmer, that's maybe not a bad thing. So I am going to put some vinegar in. Not like a lot, so said a lot, give me a little percent none. I'm just going to put some. So here's some water in the pan. Put the hog back on. And what I want to do is, I'm just going to fill the pan up nearly up. That's about right. 
Um, I don't know if you boil the water first or if you add vinegar first. I haven't actually looked my vinegar out. Um, I think it's white stuff you should use rather than the, uh, the decent. You can tell the quality of your vinegar. This is in a plastic bottle. But you can squeeze it right in, so that's nice. Right, I'll give this fork a clean because I, I, I know it's all going into my head, so I'm not giving this to anyone. But, uh, it's good practice to clean uh, everything. So we don't get the queasy tum tums. Have you ever had the queasy tum tums? Oh, I'm gonna lean really far away from the sink to get into print. Have you ever had the queasy tum tums? Leave a comment below. Eggs. Okay, so this is not boiling yet. Now, I think I want to get it so that it's, it's boiling, and then I, I, I feel like I take it off the heat and let it simmer. I don't know. I'm, I'm really confused by this. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna look at some of the instructions. I know I've I've watched a video of, of someone doing it. I've been told what to do. I'm I'm really unsure about this. Um, how to poach an egg? Oh, that's how to poach an egg. Um, right. Yeah, we want it to be simmering. Okay, good. That's what I thought. So while that's uh, doing whatever it's doing, where did I put my cup? There we are. Um, I'm not great at breaking eggs. I'm not terrible. So some I might get this, I might mess it up. But I, I'm eating it. So I, I can live with the fact if, if it's bad, it's bad. It's, you know, I don't mind. I can live with that. Okay, I did that one well. That one, the, the, there's no there's no shell in it. The yolk's intact. I've done a good job. I might get the other cup in just so I can just put them in together. That's just about ready to put the heat down. Do, 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 do we have another cup? Yes. Um, I, I, do people have like a specific vessel? Because these are oh, pretty much well, they're not just for eggs. These are for eggs. And uh, corn flour is the only things these cups get used for. Ha! -ha! Both perfect. Well, I mean, yeah, not perfect. Not perfect. Both acceptable. And that is that's for me. That is like just being passable. I would I would take passable as as the like, great one. Right, this um, pseudo macaroni can go into the oven. I've turned the oven off so it's not too hot. And I just want to uh, keep it warm in there because it's going to take a few minutes just to finish its job. And it'll let the cheese melt a bit. Uh, oh, the macaroni left on the fire. We're fine. Cleaned all his work surface earlier, so. Okay, we're about to now boil them. So I'm going to turn it right down. And I will squeeze in a little bit of the uh, heat for a second just to let the right, that's not too wild. That's, uh, that seems about right now. Of course that has now brought down the temperature of the of the washer, but yeah, that's about right. Bubbling a bit. So yeah, let's put in my eggs. Okay, that's just falling right to the bottom. Um, okay, no, no, that's looking okay. I mean, it's a bit untidy. It looks like. Um, that looks like a bit of toilet paper in the toilet. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well that's fine. Right, let's set a timer for... I was going to do this together. We'll give it like two minutes and I'll see what it's like. Um, oh, we've got, we've, we've got a new um, tool. I'll just use this one. There we go. So this is, this is a tool that is exclusively invented for pulling eggs out of a pan. I bet you didn't know that. You probably thought it was for some other purpose. Yeah. How long have we been going for now? 
Oh, not even half an hour in. That's great. Okay, well, we're just about done. It's, I don't know what time this is. Ten past one. I'm about ready to eat. So, uh, well, I'm not wrapping it up. Don't worry, I, I still have this egg. And this egg is also, I'm not, I'm not going to eat the eggs yet. But actually, I might dump this egg in. When that, when that gets to one minute, I'm going to put the second egg in. Then I, I know it's a minute, a minute. A minute after that egg's ready, this egg's ready. Yeah? So we're just, we're just watching the clock. I'll try to stay in frame. Because anyway, you'll, you'll love to see me. I'm beautiful. I'm not hideous. Aww. But, you know, okay, that's one minute. Whoosh! Two. It doesn't matter if the eggs are conjoined. They're, I can live with that. I'm eating them both on the same dish. This vinegar can go back in the uh, cupboard. Back. Back, back, back. Uh, this jug can go in the sink. These cups of the eggs were in, can go in the sink. All these four pots. If I wasn't making a, doing a video of this, I wouldn't have like, had four separate tubs for all that stuff. I just, same one. But, you know, we're, we're trying to be professional here. Um, this can go in the recycling. Um, okay, so once that time's out, uh, eggs away, and eggs away, that's all. Eggs and soup. Oh, well, that's that eggs plug already. Now let's take out my um, this. There we go, Ooh, it's looking unhealthy. Good news. Um, actually, I should put that on the other side. So it's like my fan is on. Uh, just to give you a slightly better angle there. Um, yeah, so here we are. Uh, sure, that looks like food. Yes, I think I might give that one a bit longer. It's not it's a bit slimier than I meant it to be. So I will give that another ooh, ooh, two minutes. Uh, okay, let's turn it a bit. Now you see, when Timmy Oliver did this, it looked lovely. It looked, you know, let me just stoop out, stoop down some. I'm still in bed. When Jamie Oliver did this, it looked lovely. I'm also being very cautious not to rest my elbow on that because that's gonna be really hot right now. Uh, health and safety in the kitchen. Very important. I took it very seriously here at Umay Dinosaur. Uh, yeah, Jamie Oliver did this. It, it looked fantastic. The pan was nice and clear and clean. He didn't even put any vinegar in it. He said it makes it to your egg taste like vinegar. Why would you want that? I suppose it's a fair enough point. Why would you want that? But I don't know. I'm hungry. I want to eat. I want to eat this. And I'm going to wait for this egg for two minutes. And yeah, but that's about it, really. Anyway, well, let's get a chair. Let's sit down. See if I'm better framed sitting down. I'm not supposed to sit down in the kitchen, but uh, oh, there we go. This, this is this is cozy, isn't it? This is nice. So yeah. Um, other things I've been doing recently, and you'll see in a bit, because I'll I'll be eating this through in the living room. Oh no, I want the tables in here. Okay, I'm going to eat it through here. Uh, <laughs> I've been redecorating the living room. The living room has been completely redecorated. It used to be uh, purple. And it was painted in 1996, which is probably before anyone was born in, that's currently alive. And the, in, in 2006, we got conservative put in, and all the paper around the door was torn, and, and uh, no one ever bothered redecorating to replace that paper. We had like two rolls of this wallpaper that we used in the 90s, because you can't get it anymore because it's from the 90s. Not, you can't get anything from the 90s anymore. The 90s don't exist. Um, so yeah, we had the rolls, we just didn't, no one bothered to put them up, and I got fed up, and I was like, yeah, we'll get over that, I think my egg done. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing all week, I, I, uh, I painted the ceiling, I then had to learn how to plaster, because I don't, I don't know how to plaster, but uh, a certain person, who I will not talk about directly, because they're not my favourite, um, quite the opposite, uh, certain person that was supposed to do the plastering just didn't. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, did, I learned how to plaster, finished off the plastering work, hung up the wallpaper. Uh, what else did I do? 
painted the room. It looks fantastic. I'm, oh, I brought the furniture food. The furniture has been in the conservatory since 2006 when we got the conservatory food because that's when the paper got torn. So, yeah. Um, this is probably too hot to pick. Oh, no, it's alright. This is my dish. I call it cheesy pasta with some eggs. Now, come join me in the living room where I will eat some of this. Probably not all because there's an awful lot of it. See you there! Well, isn't this cosy? So, um, you don't really need to see me eating the pasta, but this is Bad Gemington on Eggs. We're back to Bad Gemington on Eggs. Cooking without William, we've done. Now I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat this egg. It's a hard task, and I know it's a hard task. And that's good. It's good that it's a hard task, and here's why. It's hard that it's a good task. And now I've got to eat both of these eggs. It's secretly my favourite Wendy quote. Um, if you remember which video I said that in before, and which character it was, leave a comment below. Um, yeah, these, these eggs are fine. So you just watch me stuff a whole egg in my face. I'm not really used to eating on camera. Uh, so I'm, 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 I'm a very untidy eater. Let's use my knife and fork and do this, be a nice clean job of this. These eggs are good. See, now I'm talking with a mouthful. I'm actually really surprised. I thought this was going to be a disaster. Obviously, I now have to eat like, so much, so much pasta. I'm going to be bogged and cheese to so much I'm going to be bogged down for the rest of the day. I'm supposed to be going up and down ladders, um, putting stuff up in the attic and stuff. <laughs> That's not going to happen. But yeah. That last little bit was a smidge on the watery side. But uh, yeah, let's have a bit of my pasta before I finish off. Mm. It's very strong. It's nice. I'm quite happy with this. If you have any suggestions of eggs that I can eat, guess what you can do? You can leave a comment below. Uh, I will read none of them. <laughs> I will read all of them. Tell me how much you hate me, and I will agree with you. Um, this is this is this is one of the walls in the house. The rest of them are much lighter. Um, it's basically, uh, if you imagine my hand, right? Most of the walls are kind of this color, this color, but this wall is kind of this color. So that's that's how we're rolling now. It's 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 pink and and sort of raspberry, rose and raspberry. I would I would say that's um. I might show you once it's done. I might not. I should have I should have made a video about me doing my redecorating, but like I did that when I did my room three four years ago. No one cared. So yeah. Um, will I do another cooking video? Maybe. Will I do another eggs video? Probably. Easter's coming round, it's the time of eggs. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned how to cook this um, dish. My advice, if you're making it for one person, make half of what I made. Because I have the amount of sauce, and that's still like, the, about the right amount of sauce for this pasta, this is too much pasta. Um, or have it do two meals. Uh, but yeah, I hope you I hope you learned something today. I hope you learned how to cook. This dish is called blue macaroni with eggs. It's called blue macaroni with eggs. That's why I've got my blue cup and and I ate some eggs. <laughs> Bye. I'd like to feel the eggs. 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 And honey. Eggs. And snow white turtle. Eggs. I like to teach the eggs. I am not going to be able to eat all this. Like, ever. This is too much. It's nice, but it's, it's very heavy. I've only just started it. Eggs.